Welcome to Uncommon DevOps Wisdom by Uncommon Sense Consulting. What are the limitations of Dora metrics in DevOps? This question might have crossed your mind and it's not a question to be taken lightly. Today we're going to delve into the depths of this topic and shed some light on the limitations and how to overcome them. First, let's talk about the emphasis on velocity. Dora metrics, DevOps research and assessment, this measures deployment frequency, lead time for changes, time to restore service and change failure rate. These tend to focus on speed, the faster the better, right? Well, not always. Speed can sometimes come at the expense of quality, leading to a higher rate of failures. The strategy to overcome this limitation is to balance speed with other metrics. Consider incorporating quality metrics such as defect rates or customer satisfaction scores to ensure that the focus on speed doesn't undermine the quality of your software. Next up is the risk of reductionism, DORA. Metrics simplify complex processes into a few numbers. This can lead to a narrow focus and a loss of the bigger picture. To counter this, it's essential to use DORA metrics as part of a broader strategy. They provide valuable insights, but they should not be the only source of information. Include qualitative data and feedback to gain a well-rounded view of your processes. One of the biggest dangers when using any metrics is gaming the system. When people know they're being measured, they might change their behavior to improve the numbers, even if it doesn't improve the actual process. To avoid this, promote a culture of honesty and transparency. Use the metrics to learn and improve, not to blame or punish. Encourage your team to report accurately and honestly, even when the numbers aren't perfect. Lastly, there's the issue of context. Dora metrics are universal, but your projects are unique. What works for one project might not work for another. To get the most out of Dora metrics, tailor them to your specific context. Understand the unique challenges of your project and adjust the metrics accordingly. T to wrap up, Dora metrics are a powerful tool in DevOps, but they do have their limitations. They can lead to an overemphasis on speed, a narrow focus, gaming the system, and a lack of context. However, these limitations can be overcome by combining Dora metrics with other metrics, tailoring them to your context, promoting honest reporting, and using them for continuous learning and adaptation. Remember, the goal is to enhance the software development lifecycle. Dora metrics are a means to that end, not an end in themselves. Use them judiciously and they can provide valuable insights that can help you improve your processes and deliver better software. And isn't that what we all want?